Every time I see Alec Baldwin mixing it up with a paparazzo or a tabloid reporter in New York City, I wonder how such a smart, experienced, veteran showbiz talent can let this keep happening. I asked you a question. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, the paparazzi are worthless jackals stalking Baldwin and his wife and even their newborn. It's a grotesque, sickening way to make a living, and if they had a sense of shame, they'd be ashamed of themselves. Then there are the so-called journalists that make themselves into the story. A New York Post journalist just challenged Baldwin to a charity boxing match. After Baldwin said he wanted to press charges against one Fox 5 New York TV reporter for sticking her mic too close to his wife, and then Baldwin said he'd have a big problem with another Fox reporter, the station led its evening newscast with nearly three full minutes of coverage of the story. That'd be like the Sun-Times devoting the first 20 pages of the newspaper to such a story. Even goofier, a couple of morning hosts on the same station tried to analyze the situation and they provided a nearly incomprehensible piece of television. What an embarrassment for the entire station. You're walking on a public sidewalk, <laughs> you have to deviate sometimes, you know? Meanwhile, Baldwin stands accused of once again using homophobic language and the future of his MSNBC show is in doubt. I really like Alec Baldwin as a talent, but come on Alec, grow up. 95% of the celebrities with your level of fame have figured out how to endure the probing lenses, the idiotic shouted questions, the taunts, and the leeches camped outside their homes. Getting into physical struggles, threatening to press charges when there are no charges to press, all that stuff, you're just playing into their hands. At some point, Alec Baldwin's going to have to take some responsibility for his own anger management issues and work on his self-control. You've won the life lottery, my friend. Don't throw it all away over some morons who don't have any more dignity than pigeons feeding on garbage in the alley.